In this video, we want to see how we can use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative of a function which is expressed as a product or as a quotient. Um, the first part of it we discussed in the previous video, so I'm not going to go into details on the laws of logarithms. But when you are using logarithmic differentiation, you introduce natural law of both sides. So what we are given is y is equal to e then x squared plus 1, then x3 plus 2 to the power 6. So, if you are given to use natural logarithm in this particular differentiation, we, before you do anything, the first thing that you need to do is to introduce natural logarithms both sides. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll introduce in of this and in of that. So this would be in y is equal to in. Then we have this other in. So in, then we have this x squared plus 1, x3 plus 2 is to the power 6. Okay, now at this point I need to expand what is inside here so that. When I come and use chain rule, it will be easy for me to work out. So I'm not going to differentiate right here. I first have to simplify. Then at some point, that's when I'm going to differentiate. So the first uh, step, introduce in both sides. That is the step for logarithmic differentiation. The first step, you introduce in both sides. Then you try to simplify then you differentiate accordingly. So I'm, I'm going to try and simplify this, but I'm going to use laws of logarithms to simplify this particular statement. This will be in y is equal to in this one. Then in of a multiplied by b is the same as in of a plus in of b. So I'm going to have, here yeah, I'm going to have in of a, which is x squared plus 1 then plus in of b, which is that one. Okay, now you can see this. So now I can simplify this one. In of a to the power n is the same as n in of a. So this one will come here. Okay, so I'll continue with my simplification. y is equal to in, and what we have is in of x squared plus 1 plus this will come here 6 in x plus 2. Now at this point I can differentiate. Now here we have in y so we we'll differentiate both sides. So I'm going to differentiate this one and differentiate this whole thing. Now when, whenever I differentiate y Using implicit differentiation, I should attach dy over dx. So this would be, you, you know the derivative of in y is 1 over y, so I'm going to have 1 over y. Then I will attach dy over dx because I'm differentiating y. So dy over dx is equal to, then I will differentiate in of this one. After differentiating that, I'll use chain rule to differentiate what is inside here. So I'm going to have 1 over whatsoever is there. Okay, but for simplicity, if I try to simplify this, I'll get back to this. Remember, it is this that I was trying to simplify. So I can put it here. Down here, this would be in of x plus 1 x the power 6. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to simplify back this thing here. So the derivative of in of this will be 1 over this thing. But again, I have to use chain rule, meaning I have to differentiate also what is inside. So I'll have 1 over this whole thing. But remember, this whole thing is what was here before we introduced this in. So I can write it like this. So this is what you can see. But again, I have to multiply with the derivative. I have to multiply with the derivative of this. So meaning it will be multiplied by, when I try to differentiate this, it will be 1 over 
x squared plus 1 multiplied by the derivative of this one. It's chain rule, so we differentiate this. Again, we differentiate what is inside, we multiply. So the derivative of this, it will be 2 multiplied by 1, which will be 2, then x to the power 1. So we are going to have 2x, then plus, this will be 6, then in of this, it's 1 over this whole thing, which is x, 3 plus 2. Then I have to multiply with the derivative here. The derivative is 3x squared. Okay, so now at this point, I'm going to try and eliminate 1 over y. So I'll multiply with the multiplicative inverse of 1 over y on both sides. So this will be multiplied by y over 1. Even this side multiplied by y over 1. But you realize that this will simplify. I'm going to remain with dy over dx. So I'll write dy over dx is equal to. When we put back y, y will simplify with this because this whole thing is y. When you look at y, y is equal to that. So if I try to put it there, it will be this thing which will simplify. So I'll end up having this and that. So 2 multiplied by this, I'll get 2x divided by x squared plus, put this one properly, plus 1. Then plus, I'll multiply this 2, I'll get 18x squared over x to the power 3 plus 2 and this is what is going to be our derivative that is what we are going to have for our derivative so normally when you are given to differentiate this one or to find the derivative of this one using what we call logarithmic differentiation you are going to introduce natural logarithms both sides now if you are multiplying you are going to use the first law that we discussed in the previous video. If you are dividing, you're going to use the second law. Then if you have something to the power, like here we have to the power six, you're going to use the third law that we discussed in the previous video. So in case you didn't see the previous video, before you see this part, make sure you see the other video down. So for this and more videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching.